Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video tutorial, I will explain in MVC using Entity Framework how to connect the Postgres SQL database and display records on a view page. And here we got the final output of the index view page. What is the header tag? How to implement in MVC with Entity Framework to fetch data from Postgres SQL database. Below that, we got a student table. And this student table we are getting from this PostgreSQL database student table and this is the data. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before creating a new MVC application, first we will check the table in PostgreSQL database. The table name is a student which contains three columns, student ID, student name and email. Right now this student table contains some records. Now my aim is I want to fetch this student record details onto your view page using entity framework. So now let's start a new application. For this video tutorial I am creating a new application. So I am selecting ASP.NET web application. Click next. Then let's give the project name is MVC entity framework post grade SQL database is the project name and I want to save this project in D drive no, no. In, the D drive, in ASP.NET Core examples and the Docker framework I'm using 4.7.2 click create after that I'm selecting the template MVC click create And the project is created successfully. Let me close this default window. First in the project, when we are dealing with any databases, we need to require to install that particular database DLL libraries. Here in this example, I am using PostgreSQL database. So I require the PostgreSQL database DLL library. So let's add that library into our project. Before installing the packages, let's check in the references folder. There is no npg SQL DLL libraries. So let's install that one first. Select the references folder, right click the mouse, manage nested package. Select browse and search for npg SQL. And from the search results, I'm selecting this npg SQL. Click install. The version I'm using 4.1.4. Click OK. And see here the package is installed successfully. We got the green download button. And let's check in the references folder. See here we got npg SQL. And the next step is again in the same references folder. This time I'm adding entity framework 6 npg. This is the package I want to install. Select that one, click install. And it will take some time to install these packages. Click OK. I accept the license. And here notice the download is installed successfully. See here the package is installed. After adding these packages, let's close this default window, Nudger package window, and minimize the references folder. Now select the models folder, right click the mouse, add. I'm adding a class in this models folder. The models Class name is a student class and the student class contains only the properties. It's a simple POCO class. So first let's define a key alt enter. So here we require this system.component.model.data annotations. Double click that one. So once we added this component model data annotations, this key is activated prop double tap it will create the property the first property is an integer type if you check in our database we have three columns student id student name and email the student id is an integer type so we require the integer data type then on this one student id prop the second property 
which is a string type and student name prop string email we have three columns I have created three properties here and after that this is a very important step first we need to add the table in this table the table name I am adding the student copy that one and paste here comma next we require the schema is equals to between single double quotes the schema is public let's see if we got an error we need to add this table here so after creating the properties in this student class next we require the application db context class so for that uh, before that let's add the configuration in the web.config file notice the config section after the config section where are this tag is closer after that i'm adding connection strings then add name is equals to my connection the database the connection name is connection string is equals to the connection string here I'm connecting to my postgresql database so first property I'm adding the server is equals to let's find out the server in the pg admin notice a root folder postgresql select that one right click the mouse go to properties in the properties there is a connection tab select that one here you can find our connection string properties the first one is a host name address which is nothing but the server name the local host copy that one and paste here and the next one we require the port number is equals to the port number is 5432 copy that one and paste here semicolon next we require the database the database is the table i have created this student table i have created in the charan database so add the charan then we require the user id user id is equals to the user id is nothing but the username just copy that one and paste here after that we require the password password is equals to password one two three semicolon then we require the another attribute called provider name is equals to mpgsql that's it So after adding the connection string, next we require a new folder. So select the application name, right click the mouse, go to add new folder. The folder name is data context. Data context. In this data context, I am adding the application db context class. I click the mouse, add. I am adding the class. The class name is application db context db context click add and here we got our application db context class first in this class i'm importing the uh, namespaces using entity framework system dot data dot entity then we require the using and pg sql after adding these two packages, two namespaces, we require the model class also, which is a student class using MVC my application name dot models. So I can access this student class. Then in the public class application, colon db context, this db context class is belongs to system.data.entity. After that, let's define the constructor of this application db const, uh, context class application db context colon base name or connection string colon between double quotes now here between these double quotes i am adding my connection string name so switch over to web.config file 
my connection string name is my connection this is our postgresql database connection string here so copy that one and paste here after that public virtual db set in this db set i am adding student class this student class i'm adding the model class let's define student to details student details get set that's it we have created the db context class also now we require the controller so switch over to the solution explorer notice in the controllers folder select that one right click the mouse add i'm selecting the controller and from the controllers i'm selecting mvc5 controller empty click add the controller name is student controller and here we got our controller first in this controller let's add the necessary namespaces using mvc first i'm adding the models and using mvc the application name dot data context also we require then let's add the db context class which is the application db context create the variable context colon then let's create a constructor for the student controller student controller student controller in the student controller i am adding underscore context application db context class context is equals to new application db context then in the action result index in the return view i'm adding context dot um, here the i'm adding the student details the property name dot to list method that's it it's a very simple line to fetch the records from this model then let's build the application first before adding the view page after build succeeded of this application now it's time to create the view page of this action result index so select the index method right click the mouse add view the view name is index and template i want to display all the records uh, let's close this one yes from this table student table so i'm using the default template list template and the model class the model class is student class so here is our student class select that one and the data context class is application db context class so select that one also after that click add and here we got our index view page with the default list table and notice here at the bottom we got the edit details and delete action links which we don't require so i'm deleting this one and i'm adding a student id also student id and here the table header for the student id let's add that one student id this is a header and this is a data and i don't require this action link for create with this default index page let's add our own center tag h1 how to implement mvc entity framework with post pay sql database after that i'm adding horizontal line i'm closing the center tag at the bottom of the table after the table that's it we have done the complete coding part now it's time to check the final results on the browser and here we got the final output of the index view page what is the header tag how to implement in mvc with entity framework to fetch data from postgresql database below that we got a student table and this student table we are getting from this postgresql database student table and this is the data 
that's it in this video i have shown in mvc using entity framework how to get or fetch records from postgresql database